The activity in front of the Brooklyn Museum, not too far from our setting today here at the Barclays Center. Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Tonight, it'll be the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Houston Rockets. With Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony, this is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. Hey, Dave. Well, Kevin Durant said his days of trying to prove himself through basketball are done. He said, walking around with a chip on my shoulder is not my thing. I'm more relaxed in letting these days flow. I'm the best version of me. I don't need to prove who I am. I've been in it for too long. Kevin, this is a guy who was finally comfortable with himself. All right, thanks, DA. Short a rotation play. Nothing that uh, they can't overcome but it does shrink their margin for error just a bit. They're missing a quality player. Injuries, a big part of the game. They've just got to make the adjustments. And the Houston Rockets starting five. We've got Kevin Love. Porter is out there with Wall. And there's Porzingis. And it's Richardson in at the three slot. And for Brooklyn, they've got Cowboy. Kyrie Irving is out there with Brown. And it's Durant. And it's Thompson in at the four spot. Worst teams sometimes struggle right out of the blocks. Uh, when do they generally hit, in your opinion, the panic button? Well, let's hope the panic button doesn't get hit for anybody, Kevin. But the one thing that would concern any team, obviously, is injury to a star, either an established star or a rookie they're trying to get good minutes for. But, boy, if you're hitting the panic button this early, look out. But the, the one thing is, Doris, you can really kind of rectify the situation because of the length of the regular season. No doubt, Kevin. An NBA year affords plenty of opportunities to find your footing now here's Durant over Richardson Durant no good Richardson against Irving Richardson kicks the wall cans the shot from the wing how much confidence in his jump shot John Wall has the green light off the pass Irving passes to KD Lays it up and banks it in. Boy, when he's this deep, it's going to be tough to stop him, especially with a smaller defender. Outside, Wall. Out of hand on it, and they'll keep possession. Here's Persingas. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Well, tracking down rebounds with ease. Kristaps Porzingis, outstanding mobility. Irving kicks to Brown. Pass to KD. Fires the three. Nailed from three-point land. KD's got five. You simply cannot give Kevin Durant any room to shoot it, and his consistency over the years is really what's striking. Here's Wall. Good D by Thompson. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. Over Richardson. They get it again. And Madison gets it to go. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rack. And, and where's the help defensively? To me, Greg, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. And here are the Rockets now. After the basket by Brooklyn. Wall, that's good. Nice to be in control of the offense. Wall calls his own number and delivers. For Brooklyn, they've gone three of five shooting the ball so far. Durant, the pass to Madison. Brown outside. And the Nets, another three. Last game for the Rockets, they picked up the win against the Wizards. Left side, Wall. And Wall 
Hall with the slam. That just slashes right past the defender. He is one tough cover, John Wall. Irving kicks to Durant. Brown outside. Outside for KD. We're about three minutes into this first quarter. And it goes out of bounds. That went off for Zingas. Outside Irving. To the middle. Here's Madison. You know, that's a great example of how Porzingis can use his length to bother a shooter. No one near Wall as he lets it go. But they'll get another chance. And the shot goes in from Chris Dapps, Porzingis. And this is something this guy takes pride in, capitalizing on second chance opportunities. Irving with the bounce pass. Here's Madison. And it goes down two points. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. And it's Wall with the ball for the Rockets. Trailing by two. They're getting their first look of the season at the Nets in this one. And really, this is a team that expects to beat everyone when they step on the floor. But they were only able to split the series last year. You wonder if they're looking to take control of this one early. And when you have more talent, you want to keep the other guys from gaining any confidence. Here's Thompson following the basket by John Wall. The pass to Durant. Kicks to Thompson. Back to KD. Six on the shot clock. Over Perzingis. That's his fourth miss from the floor. He's made two of his shots. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Here's Love. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And you look at the cast-offs that have found success in Brooklyn Doors, a great part of the next story. And I think what the players appreciate is the team that gave them their first real shot to play significant minutes. That buy-in and urge to prove themselves a part of what makes their culture special. Wall, no luck. And you know, you can't impact a shot that close any better than he did on that possession. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Now here's Wall. 32 points for him last game again. Oh, that Ooh. was something else. <laughs> Have mercy. This seems to be the new breed of point guards who can play above the rim. Wall finishing with style. Thompson in the post. He's going up against Love. Rockets have gone 7 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Porzingis passes to Porter. Wall, that's a two-pointer. And that one goes long. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. And a deep three from Irving. From beyond the arc and then some. Ah, just tremendous range from Kyrie. If he steps across the half-court line, you better have a hand up. Down low, Porzingis, and the dunk by Porzingis. There's real synergy in play right now on the offensive end. The pass was right where it needed to be. Pass to Brown. Here's Madison. Outside, KD. Lays it up off the glass. KD's got his third bucket of the night. Boy, KD just lethal on the drive to the rack, and he gets ahead of steam behind him. Forget about it. Outside wall, Porzingis kicks to Richardson. And some nice passing there by Houston. It's Porter outside. Thompson with the rebound. That's leading by three. Outside Irving. To the left side wing. Pass to Katie. Jacks up a three. Brooklyn now working with a new shot clock. Brown outside. That one's a miss. His third shot of the game. He's made one of them. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. 
How about the vision from the young Latvian Porzingis showing he really can read the floor and capitalize. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn. And Mr. Reliable, Kevin Love, is a nightly double-double in this league. That's right, Kevin, and it's because he reads the ball incredibly well. He knows where it's coming off the rim. And then on the offensive end, such a versatile scoring threat, right? He can get his points inside, he can go outside, you name it, Kevin Love's got it. Substitution here for Brooklyn. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Thompson. Easy Breezy comes in for Kevin Durant. Joe Harris is checked in for Brown. And it's Mills in for Irving. Here's Easy Breezy. Pass to Mills. On the wing, Harris. Madison, the pass to Mills. Over Beverly. Mills can't hit. Houston's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Redick is in the corner. Now here's Beverly. T right on him. And now here's Prince. The fast break opportunity. That one's off. He starts the game with a miss. I'm a fan of anybody who defends that way. I mean, they weren't about to open the door and just allow him to cruise in for a layup. Brooklyn's gone three of seven from three-point range in the first quarter. Fires it up. The shot off that time. The Rockets go the other way with it. And there's the pass to Fernando. Another miss by Houston. Mills looking it over. And here's Harris from the arc. It's hauled in by Beverly. And even with good coverage defensively, that time he has confidence to drill the three you know at 7-3 yes he can dunk but with that athleticism and his sense for the dramatic and his flair look out folks he can be special here's easy breezy the Rockets making the shot comes out of the gate empty he's 0 for 1 and his defense so valuable not many can bother that shot at the rim Boy, you see the effort. You see the range. This guy prides himself in his ability to shut you down. Now here is Harris after J.J. Reddick's miss. Here's Madison. A fadeaway J off the mark. Houston in the lead. Here's the bodyguard. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. That's tipped. Here's Easy Breezy and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Doris, you've played, you've coached, you've broadcast, you've done it all in this business. Uh, how did you like to be coached when you were a player at the very top of your game? Yeah, I think one of my favorite things were coaches who challenged me, those who would not allow me to accept the level I was currently at, those who wanted to push me and extend and expand my game. Listen, every player wants to be respected. Every player wants to feel valued. But the great ones to me, the LeBron James, the Kevin Durants, they want to be coached hard. They want you to push them to the greatest possible level they're capable of. That's great insight. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. Here's Beverly. He's now one for two with that bucket. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Pass to Harris. Here's Madison. Coming in off a 12-point game his last outing. 
that one goes. Count it. Cowboys got the game tied up here for the Nets. Boy, it seems like every shot he puts up, it's going in. This guy is hot. Hot. Passes it to Persingas. There's a minute 40 left in the first quarter. Kicks it to Beverly. Five to shoot. Houston needs to get a shot off. The bodyguard. No good on the three. And already they take out a noticeable advantage in terms of aggression and controlling the backboard. You know, a lot of coaches might let you hear it for taking the three-pointer on the break, but I like the decision there. The D had already collapsed inside. And here's Beverly after Torrey and Prince hitting the three. Here's Persingas. He dishes it to Reddit. A floater. Here's Fernando. Off target from three-point range. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for the Brooklyn Nets. Three-point lead. Defeated by the Pacers in their last game, they'll try to put that one behind them. Well, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. And, Greg, you cannot allow your opponent to shoot that high a percentage. That is going to get you beat night after night. And, yes, it's good. Ten points for Porzingis. See, you can tell Porzingis knows when he's in close, he's got the kind of size, touch, and length to make that look easy. The three from Mills. It's rebounded by Houston. Persingas has got six rebounds here tonight. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock, and it's out of bounds. The Nets will take it the other way. Eric Gordon is checked in for J.J. Reddick. Here's Easy Breezy. Pass to Mills. A three ball sinks the triple. And so it's Brooklyn with a six point lead at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside and it's working for them. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And Kevin Durant talked about his teammates and the versatility this roster has. I like our depth. I like that we could play, you know, we could play big, we could play small, we can match up with a lot of different teams. And uh, it's just a matter of us going out there and playing consistent basketball. It's easier said than done. Um, but we like who we are right now. We just got to continue to keep getting better. It's clear KD is very happy playing with this group of guys. That's why he signed here. Uh, but you can bet Durant is going to be leading the charge. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And uh, from Brooklyn guys, what jumps out to you stat-wise? I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's what has them ahead in this game. Their floor spacing has been just tremendous. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. So for Brooklyn now, we've got Easy Breezy. Friends out there with Cowboy. Then there's Harris. And it's Mills in at the point guard position. Nets leading by six. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, over the last few years, there's been a lot of talk about seeding playoff teams 1 through 16, regardless of conference. Now, taking the top 16 teams is a tough sell, especially for owners whose teams are in the relatively weaker Eastern Conference. But taking eight teams from each conference and then cross-seeding earlier than the finals is something that does seem possible down the road. The reward for fans might be a finals matchup with the two best teams in the league. Kevin? Interesting ideas. David, thank you. And I like the fact that the defense is looking to protect the rim at all costs. The Rockets shooting their first free throws. First trip to the line in this one. And look back a season ago. They, they did a solid job at the line. About 79% of their free throws. Two. 
and that one misses. We've always been wowed by the athleticism in the NBA, but it, it seems to be coming even more athletic. And, and certain guys uh, get it done, Doris, in different ways. Yeah, I think there's a couple of examples, Kev, of guys who don't have or are not blessed with incredible athleticism, but who have found a way to be successful. Nikola Jokic is a first-team NBA player who plays very much below the rim. And then you look at certain shooters who can affect the game. J.J. Redick, he is impossible to guard because he's one constant stream of movement. So, listen, if you have great skill for your position without athleticism, you can still find a way to have a job in this NBA. Here's the bodyguard. Got a piece of it. And they're able to recover. Count it. 12 points for Perzingis. Nets leading by six. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Harris outside. The pass to Madison. Nets passing it around. Fires the three. Hits it from three-point range. Mills has got the lead up to nine now for the Nets. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Here's Fernando, and he makes it look easy, dunking it hard with one hand. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board, and I, I don't mean style points. Here's Easy Breezy. Pass to Harris. This one for three. It's hauled in by Gordon. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Here's the bodyguard. Another miss is sixth of the night after six shot attempts. Mills passes to Madison and Gordon over to help. And Harris wide open. He shoots and he can't extend the lead to double digits. Rockets trail by seven. Beverly looking around. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Well, there's an aggressive mentality in play. Working close, find a way to score. Easy breezy passes to Mills. Here's Madison. Defended by Beverly. Passes it to Easy Breezy. And here's Mills for three. Fernando pulls it in. Fernando's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. The drive by Gordon. Pass to Beverly. Gordon with it. Up top, Porzingis. Rocket six. Over to the left wing. Fernando can't get it to go. And so it's Mills who will bring it up for Brooklyn. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. At the conclusion of this game, they're off to Detroit where they'll face the Pistons. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. So for the Nets, Thompson, he's checked in for Cowboys. Durant comes in for Torian Prince. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for Patty Mills. Kevin Love's checked in for Houston. Hall comes in for Patrick Beverly. Love against KD. Now the pass to Easy Breezy. And the three off target. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. And the dunk by Love. There is a reason John Wall's name is always at the top of the leaderboard and assists in the NBA. Understanding how to dissect a defense. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. Boy, I have such great admiration for Kevin Love. We so often think these athletes are invincible. The reality is they're just like you and I. Kevin shared his bout with anxiety and panic attacks, and I believe by doing that, guys, he has helped countless people.
The Nets making a switch here. Brown's checked in. And a switch here also for Houston. Porter's checked in. Brooklyn leading by three. And Commissioner Adam Silver said we're in an age of anxiety. And Doris expressed concern over the emotional well-being of the players. Well, I think, Kevin, he pointed to social media, ironically, as isolating for players. They're always looking down at their phones. They're always wearing headphones. This generation, face-to-face -face connections, so crucial for a team and individual health. And that one's good by Porter. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Durant gets a very good look and converts. Durant's got nine. Well, Kevin Durant's form, his release point, everything about his stroke is really impeccable. Here's Wall. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Now here's Thompson. Harris kicks to Brown. Katie against Love. Shot clock at six. Over Love. Trying to get open is Thompson. And it's Durant missing. And here's Houston. They've gone on a 10-2 run, not allowing much. And that one's good by Porter. Well, the versatility he possesses makes him a very tough cover, guys. Irving surveying the floor. To the paint. And Tristan Thompson on the bucket with the assist by Irving. And the Nets lead by one. Irving against Wall. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on Kevin Durant. Well, we know this. John Wall is a great scorer. But let's not forget that over the course of his career, he's always been looking to create for others as well. Now, sometimes he can get a little ahead of himself. But the unselfishness shows in his assist totals. The first one falls. And with Wall, the assists are always high. But Doris, his turnovers are up there, too, unfortunately. Yeah, no doubt, Kevin. And I think part of that is because John Wall plays the game at breakneck speed. You hope as the years go on, he becomes more efficient in terms of his decision-making. And the Rockets making a change here. Richardson's checked in. Well, the athleticism and ferocity with which John Wall plays the point guard position. And you add that to the frame he brings to the table, and look out. Now, here's Durant. He's coming off a 28-point game against Indiana. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. Well, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question, Greg. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. And here we go. Brooklyn fast break. Thompson with the ball. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Thompson's got four points now in the quarter. Yeah, Thompson just so focused. Even with the defense in his face, he still has the poise to be able to knock down shots. Porter against KD. Porter. Here's Fernando. Finds the hole for the second time from the floor. Now two for five. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Here's Irving to the inside. Durant takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Ball against Irving. Puts it up from 12. It's good. 16 points for Wall. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Harris outside. Durant down low. Richardson cover. Can't hit from 12. Houston in the lead. Here's Wall. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. I'll tell you, he is absolutely playing some basketball right now. John Wall, nothing the defense has is impeding his progress. Now, here is Irving. 
He's coming off a 28-point game against Indiana. And guys, remember, remarkable passing the ball as well. He racked up a number of good assists. Moving against Wall. Rebounded by the Nets. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And here's Harris from the arc. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. That's the second long-range bomb in the quarter after a slow first period. He is on a roll. Wall looking for an opening. Fernando tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Irving kicks to Harris on deep. But they get it back. The kick out to Irving. Irving double team. Harris outside. On deep. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got five assists in the game. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Now here's Wall. 18 points for him. Another miss by Houston. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Thompson passes to Durant over Richardson, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. And now it's an eight-point Nets lead. Kevin Durant is a threat to shoot it as soon as the ball hits his hands. This guy incredible, relentless as a scorer. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. They defeated the Wizards in their last game. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. It came down to execution. No wasted possessions, and that is absolutely essential trying to win on the road. Reddick's checked in for the Rockets. All right, a chance to look at the numbers for Reddick. Some last season stats for him. Averaged about 18 points a game last season. Two assists and two rebounds. And it's always nice to be able to bring a shooter like him off the bench. Well, hard to win if you can't get points productivity. And that's what makes this guy valuable to that second unit. And here is Harris after J.J. Reddick hitting the three. Here's KD. The Rockets pull it in. Richardson's got four rebounds in this game. And some nice passing there by Houston. Love, no good. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Durant down low. Working on Love. Yep, that one goes. Durant's got 15 points. Well, this is exactly how you want to attack the defense. Kevin Durant accepting the punishment, but refuses to be denied. Redick with the bucket. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. And it's Irving with the ball for the Nets. Four-point game. Well, think about the Nets' Kenny Atkinson, a finalist last season for NBA Coach of the
this young coach got a well-deserved contract extension. And what I love is his team competes at a high level every night. And that one, good. 20 points for John Wall. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Brown outside. Pass to Harris. And here is Irving. Back to Thompson. Brown outside. That's good from Harris on the assist by Brown. Harris has got 13 points in just this quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Wall dishes to Reddit. It doesn't go for him. And Brooklyn will come the other way. And a deep three from Irving. And again, Brooklyn with the triple. But what a wizard Kyrie is in the open floor. Utilizes his speed to help create open shots in transition. That's beautiful. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And working, Kevin, themselves to the line here in the second. A nice way to get your offense going. The Rockets shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. good from Wall. He does a great job of drawing contact and getting himself to the line, something he didn't do in the first period. So for the Nets, Cowboys checked in for Thompson. Torian Prince comes in for Kevin Durant. An easy breezy subbed in for Brown. Zinkis, he's checked in for the Rockets. The bodyguard comes in for Richardson. And so John Wall nails both of them. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Irving against Wall. Passes it to Easy Breezy. Eyes a three. It's rebounded by Houston. They get to take on the Heat at Miami after this one. They're in the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. Back to Porzingis. And that comes off the assist by John Wall. Porzingis has got four this quarter. Oh, that's a good, strong finish. Porzingis not shying away from getting after it. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Brooklyn Nets. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks a lot. Kyrie, what were you all focusing on coming into the game tonight? I come out with a you know, intense focus and intensity that you know other teams can't match. Just doing whatever it takes to you know keep our tempo. Um, you know guys are in a in a great rhythm when we have a great tempo. So just trying to get everybody involved and do whatever it takes to win. Well, we'll see if you can keep playing at your pace in the second half. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now the 2K Sports halftime show. It is a good game we have here after one half of play. Everybody, welcome back for our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny Smith. It's Brooklyn out in front of the half. They lead by five. Kenny? Well, their playmakers are showing up tonight, seeing the court well, moving the basketball. That's why they had so many assists in the first half. And they're not just relying on ISO plays to generate points. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. Well, if you can't shoot the ball, you might want to stop chucking it up. They keep trying the three, but it's not going down. They're relying too much on the three ball. Way too much. It's good when it's falling for you, but when it's not, you have to try something else. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my main man, Joel. Joel, what up? And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. An exceptional performance from John Wall. You just love the patience in that first half. Waited until he got the look he wanted. You know, as a coach, you can preach good shot selection, but it's up to the players to execute. And this guy has done just that.
And on the floor for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. Josh Richardson out there with Kevin Love. And there's Porzingis, and it's Wall, and it's Porter in at the two. I don't know if he's trying to show off for the crowd or what, but there's no reason for that kind of shot. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. No question he got bumped on that shot. Doris, you've accomplished so much in your award-winning career. What was your first experience in broadcasting? Kevin, my first experience was I left coaching, and they put Providence College women's basketball on radio. That was the first ever game I got to call. It was so cool. Uh, tell me yours. What was the very first? Did you study this? How did you get into broadcasting? I did. Our high school had a radio station, and the first basketball broadcast was underneath the bleachers, looking through popcorn boxes and legs of the people uh, that were standing in the bleachers so that I could see the court from the baseline. Amazing. Because that's where the, that's where the telephone cables were to plug in our equipment. And wow. I was uh, 16 years old. Incredible. I remember it very well. Incredible. Very well. And Brown drops them both. Rockets trail by seven. All with it. Three-pointer. Love the pass to Wall. Tries again. That falls. Great assist by Love. Wall's got 24. Well, Kevin Love just has a great feel for the game. He has a strong understanding of their offense, and he's a very willing passer. That's why you see what you see there. Richardson outside. Kicks it out to Love. Releases from the wing and drills it. Love's got his second bucket of the night. There's a certain rhythm and pace to the way Kevin Love plays the game. He knows when to spot up off the pass. Richardson against Durant. Shoots it up. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Porzingis has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. But Kevin Durant uses his length so well. And how about the timing to send that rejection back? Outside, Porzingis shoots from 14. He can't get that one to fall. Nets leading by three. Here's Madison. Kept alive. And there's Thompson putting it right back in. Uh, Thompson, he has such a low, wide base. He is near impossible to fully box out. Outside, Porzingis. Outside, Porter. And it's off from three-point range. And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Kevin Durant on a prototypical KD roll. My man is going. Now here's Wall. 24 points for him. And Wall with the slam. That should give him a nice little jolt. Uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt GN. Well, sometimes it's about taking it into your own hands. That kind of individual play could spark his group. And it's Houston on the break. Here's Porter. And then Porter with the jam. And guys, I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. <laughs> In a close game, the important thing is to get the two points. Not necessarily the dramatic. Oh, come on. He had to go for that, <laughs> didn't he? My goodness. <laughs> Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. That boy, to have someone back there who can erase your mistakes. What a big-time asset defensively. Irving for three. Well, believe it or not, defense might be John Wall's strong suit. When he's locked in, he can be stifling. 
And that one's good by Porter. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Outside Irving. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That'll be his second foul of the game. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Nets passing it around. Here's Madison. He's guarded by Love. And Madison gets it to go. Rockets trail by four. Now here's Wall. Blanketed by the D. He fights to the rim for the layup. Wall's got 28. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Pass to Durant. Back to Brown. He tries for three. It's hauled in by Persingas. For Houston, they've gotten six of their 12 shots to drop for him here in the second half so far. Well, so much of the last few seasons have been lost time for Christoph Porzingis. That ACL injury and then working back from it in the 2019 campaign, never an easy road to start him. Now here's Durant. He's got 18. Wide open, couldn't capitalize. Boy, he'll usually knock it down if he's left that wide open. Just comes up empty. Wall passes to Persingas. Love trying to break loose. And Persingas gets it to go on the assist by Wall. Wall's got assist number eight now on the night. Greg, with all the time that Persingas has missed, it's easy to forget just how dominant he is when he's healthy. KP is one of the few game-changing talents in our league. He can carry an offense and boost an entire team's defense with his presence on the floor. Good D by Love. For Houston, they've gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7-14. Richardson, good. Man, can you always depend on him or what? to lead you to the right place with that pass. Money. Brooklyn trailing. Now Irving. He's got six. There's the pass to KD. Just five to shoot. Feeds away. Here's Thompson. And a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Thompson's got it all tied up now for the Nets. And Thompson becoming so good at getting a shot up at the right angle so it can't be blocked. Porter in the corner. From outside the arc, the shot misses. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. And it's Irving missing. Houston's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And that's now 30 points for Wall. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher. And Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. Now here's Durant. He's got 18. Irving can't get it to go. Terrific close out there to challenge the three. It may be the hardest thing to do in basketball. Close under control, and he's more than up to the task. Timeout called the Nets. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. And a new group in for the Nets. Torian Prince, he's checked in for Tristan Thompson. Easy Breezy comes in for Kevin Durant. Joe Harris is checked in for Bruce Brown. And Smills in for Irving. Here's Easy Breezy. Right wing. Madison the pass to Prince. Here's Easy Breezy. It's rebounded by Houston. 
Fernando's got rebound number seven for him tonight. The bodyguard, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And that one misses. And a four-year player at Baylor, Torian Prince, something of a surprise lottery pick back in 2016. But Greg, he's become a very valuable player. You know, he, he's one of those two-way power wings that, that, that it seems every team wants. A dependable three-point marksman who holds his own defensively. Back to Redick. Lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Reddick's got the lead back up to six now for Houston. The net shooting at a decent 44% clip here. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And here is Harris. He's got 13. Five on the clock. Pass to Madison. The Nets need to get a shot off here. And there's the foul. And it's on Dorian Prince. That's his first foul. Rockets leading by six. Here's Beverly. He kicks to Reddick. Down low. Here's Fernando. Plays it up and banks it in. Fernando's got six. Yeah, and, and ever since halftime, they play precision basketball offensively. I gotta believe that's something the coach talked to them about at the halftime. They have valued each possession. And the Rockets with possession here. Everly with the ball. This is it to Persingas. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Persingas has got the lead up to eight now for the Rockets. Here's Easy Breezy, covered by Reddick. Count it good. Eight points for him. Houston's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Here's the bodyguard. Upside, Porzingis. Back to Beverly. Yes, that goes in. Beverly's got his third basket of the night right there. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Here's Easy Breezy, covered by Reddick. Easy Breezy, and he uses the glass on the layup. Easy Breezy's got six points in the quarter. I'll tell you, a tough first half puts it in the rear view. The shooting percentage starting to reflect that. Beverly, the pass to Persingas. Out of bounds, Rockets ball as Houston keeps possession. And it gives us a chance to check out the stats for Torian Prince. Last season's performance for him. Averaged about 13 points a game, three rebounds, and two assists. Well, fans of this team will take this kind of production from him without hesitation. I tell you, he has been a solid contributor. They have called his number, and he has delivered for them. Yeah, easy call. There is so much to love about Kristaps Porzingis. Over seven feet, sweet shooting jumper, but aggression. This guy will back down from no one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And Doris Porzingis not only quick to adapt to the NBA game, but also the culture. I think it helps, Kevin, that he got tutored in the English language starting in grade school. And think about it, Kevin. This man wore his hair in cornrows back then, emulating the NBA players he saw. So both linguistically 
culturally and basketball wise it wasn't too big an adjustment for him and he makes both free throws well this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line and boy has his stroke been on the money Pass to easy breezy That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, five for 10. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. To the middle. And Persingas gets it to go on the assist by Beverly. Persingas has got 22. Nets trail by eight. Here's easy breezy. He's got 12. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. Outside, Reddick. Kept alive by Houston. And the shot goes in from Christian. Porzingis. Porzingis has got 10 points here in the second half. Here's Easy Breezy, covered by Reddick. Here's Easy Breezy. No problem on the jumper in close. Oh, they own the interior right now. 10 straight points coming from inside. Now, here's Beverly, covered by Mills. They get it back, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. It goes on Torian Prince. You know, and with his height, it is really hard to affect Porzingis' shot without fouling him. He is a problem for defenders. That free throw good from Porzingis. You know, there was so much hype around Kristaps Porzingis once he got off to a great start in his first year. And you just want to see him continue to grow and add dimensions to the offensive game every year. What's next? We'll see. Irving's checked in for Brooklyn. And a switch here also for Houston. Gordon's checked in. And both free throws good for Porzingis. He's forcing the action now. Finally getting to the charity stripe after no freebies in the first half. Here's Easy Breezy, defended by Gordon. Here's Easy Breezy. Can't hit that one. And then they continue to control the glass. And stolen by Harris. Jumps up, finishes the break with a slam. Well, Joe Harris staying engaged on the defensive end. Nice anticipation to get that steal. Bounce pass from Beverly. Here's Persingas. Up and in on the layup. Persingas has got the lead up to eight now for the Rockets. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. John Wall getting it done for the Houston Rockets. He was a true standout at the offensive end, both with his scoring and his passing. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm Assist of the Game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and what a beautiful feed. And, Greg, nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Nets trail by eight. We've got Irving. Torian Prince is out there with Easy Breezy, and it's Cowboy, and it's Harris in at the shooting guard position. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Here's Madison. Kicks to Harris. Beyond the arc. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. And you talk about getting back into the game, folks. Three is better than two. And you don't need to tell him that. He's used the three-point shot as his primary weapon today. Now here's Porzingis. Here's Fernando. Nice work on the boards, paying off with the basket. And the Rockets lead by seven. Well, you love the persistence on the offensive glass. All about effort right now. And Madison gets it to go. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. 
Gordon up on top, guarded by Harris. Beverly against Irving. Here's Gordon. A rebound by the Nets. Outside Irving. Irving double team. The pass to Prince. Harris outside. Shot clock at five. Nobody near Irving. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got three assists tonight. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. Beverly the pass to Persingas. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Persingas has got 30. What you love is how complete a player Kristaps Porzingis is. There is a variety of ways with which he can score. Easy breezy passes to Irving. Gets the bucket and the foul. That one's on Eric Gordon. And that was the right call. basket go to the guys you trust the most well you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots nice delivery there looking at who's out there now for the Nets Thompson he's checked in for Prince Kevin Durant comes in for easy breezy and it's Brown in for Harris That free throw good from Kyrie Irving. A career best season for Kyrie Irving in 2018-19. Scoring just as great as ever, but it was the other areas, playmaking, rebounding, defense, where he made tremendous strides. Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. Back to Katie to tie it up. Here's Thompson. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, Thompson, just a spectacular athlete and so muscular. He is so crafty on how he draws fouls while shooting. And the first one at the line is good. And the Celtics expected Kyrie to become a better passer and defender in Boston. They felt he had the capability. You could argue that those improvements have elevated him from a great scorer to a great player in our league. Both shots good from the strike. Uh, Thompson knows he needs to keep working on that free throw shot. It definitely needs improvement. Irving against Wall. And the layup's good off the glass. Wall's got four this quarter. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Irving dishes to Durant. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on John Wall. There are very few players in the world who can do what Kevin Durant does. Under duress of the playoffs or a big moment in the game, Kevin Durant has the skill set and the mentality necessary to finish opponents off. And he makes the first. And that skill set of Durant's that Doris, you just mentioned, there really is no comparison in the league. I agree, Kevin. I mean, just to have that soft touch with that height he has is rare in itself. 
Now you'd think about the mobility and creativity to find a shot for himself or others in any situation. That is what makes him one of the all-time greats. Greg, you get so caught up in how great Durant is at scoring that you forget sometimes about his other terrific offensive skills. You know, Katie doesn't really get a lot of recognition for his passing, but he has fantastic vision. Uh, I mean, arguably, he might be the most underrated superstar ever. Sees so many double teams and does a great job of getting the ball out to open teammates. And Durant sends it back. And it's out of bounds, and they say it was last touched by Durant. Outside Wall, there's the triple. Cans it from downtown. Wall's got seven points for the quarter. And Kevin, as you know, they did not have to guard John Wall from that distance when he first came in. Now, he's a problem. Here's Madison. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his eighth assist in the game. Here is Wall. Pass to Porter. Wall draws the double. Takes a three. They get it back. Here's Love, who's back up. Misses the layup. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. And stolen by Richardson. Here's Wall. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Wall's got 17 points here in the second half. Irving against Wall. Right side, Kevin Durant. Again, the Nets for two. Kyrie Irving doing work with the pass. That's pretty. Wall against Irving, and Wall kicks to Richardson. From the baseline. Unable to get that one. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Brooklyn. Pass to Irving. Outside Durant. And the jam by Kevin Durant. AD is a force of nature. Sensational dunk at the rim. The kick out to Wall. Porter looking it over. Dishes it to Love. And the layup is good. And the Rockets lead by two. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Brown outside. Pass to Madison. Porzingis with the steal. Here's Porter. And Thompson sends it back. That's where Thompson's length comes into play. You think you can sneak a shot over him, but he'll swat it right back at you. Brown kicks to Irving. Trying to get open is Thompson. And it's Irving missing. And you know what? If you're the defense, you got him right where you want him. Let him keep shooting those threes because he's been brutal in this half. Erzingas can't hit. The Nets have gone 7-9 from the field down the stretch here in the fourth quarter. Terrific shooting. KD passes to Thompson. Inside, Madison. And he goes in for the dunk. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. Houston's gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. And a wide-open look for Porter. His three-pointers off the mark. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. Goes straight to the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That one on Love. And they got to bring the double team on him. doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. 
take some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. On the outside, and good coming off the assist by Wall. Porter's got nine points here in the second half. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. Here's Durant. Basket good. Durant's got 26 points. Well, Kevin Durant is now able, because of increased strength and physical ability, able to absorb contact and play through it. Now here's Wall. Here's the floater. It's tipped, and he's able to get it back. Yep, it counts. And, and he's really been dialed in here down the stretch. Five of seven from the field. Irving against Wall. Brown outside. Good on the triple. And the Nets lead by three. And you can feel the excitement in the building. Both of these teams pouring it on. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. And we've seen him do this before, just kicking it up to another level here in the fourth. That puts him at 75% shooting in the quarter. Now, here's Brown. There's the dish to KD. And the pass to Thompson. Six to shoot. Over Porter, and it's Brooklyn scoring again. Yeah, there are several ways that Thompson can be a factor on the offensive end, and he is still adding to that arsenal. Wall against Irving. Wall's shot is off. Nets leading by three. 16 feet away. High post, KD. Over Richardson, Durant, that's good. KD's got 28 points for the game. Uh, Kevin Durant calmly steps into that shot with the game hanging in the balance. Love it. Wall attacking, and he banks in the layup. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. On the wing, Brown shoots a three. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Porzingis is not his best game, but they're still getting it done collectively. From deep, Wall. The shot, no good. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Brown wide open, he fires. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And the Nets lead by six. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it, Greg? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Here is Love. Now here's Porzingis. A rebound by the Nets. Cowboys got his 16th rebound on the night. And Durant gets it to go. And now an eight-point Nets lead. Well, that's the poise of Kevin Durant. He knows he has the advantage inside over just about anyone in this league. Near the three-point line, it's Porter. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from if you want to command the defender's respect. They double-team KD. All with the steal. Irving with the steal. Here's Brown. Right through the D for the layup. Brown's got the lead up to 10 now for Brooklyn. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. But if you continue to execute at both ends, you can build on this lead. Here's Persingas, and the dunk by Persingas. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now, the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Now Irving. Outside Durant. Four on the shot clock. Matt is in the pass to Thompson. And that one drops for him. And the Nets lead by 10. 
And it looks like just playing the last bit of this one out in what should be a nice win here for Brooklyn. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. Uh, that was the bread and butter. Fortunately, they made enough of those, but, but sometimes it was quantity over quality. And every win in court, and this one will go down as win number three. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. And while there was some nice performances tonight, it definitely ended up being a solid outing for Cowboy. Boy, his defense is what stood out to me. There was a no-fly zone around this guy all night. He contested every shot in his area and sent a few back. Fifty seconds left here in the fourth quarter, and it's good for two. Well, Porzingis will make you pay if you collapse off of him. This game looks like they've got it just about wrapped up. Yeah, just got to work that clock and take care of the ball. Brown finds Durant. Pass to Madison. The kick out to Irving. Fires from deep. Rebound love, and the foul called on Porzingis. That'll be his second foul of the game. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Nets. They're leading by eight. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Yeah, just stepped out of bounds as he tried to slither around the defender there. Good job by the D to cut him off. Up top, Porzingis. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. Porzingis has got 36. Oh, you love the aggressiveness and the swagger that Porzingis has to take that shot. Such a clutch play from the Latvian. Kyrie Irving. At the line for two. 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 It's the first that makes it a seven point lead. What's incredible to me is Kyrie Irving at six foot three. Does he possess incredible eye popping athleticism? No but he can create his own shot anytime he wants, and his finishing ability is as good as it gets in the NBA. And so both free throws are good, and it's an eight-point game. Now a timeout 40. called by Houston. They trail by eight. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? A lot to talk over and improve on for next time. Well, maybe it could wait until after the game because this one is over. Goes up off the inbound. Rebounded by the Nets. And I'm not sure that is a shot that he should be taking. Well, it's hard to imagine that the play was designed to go in that direction. Boy, I'd be surprised if we see that again. And so it's Brooklyn with the win. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. 
And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Kevin Durant. It seems like even with some adversity thrown your way, you guys find a way. Well, we're moving to basketball. You know, we're just relying on each other. And, uh, you know, we're just believing in each other, man. No matter what, we just stick together. It was very obvious that that was the case. Thanks, KD. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.